What's up, Wild Republic? So today is day two. So welcome to day two. And if you're fast tracking you, or maybe you're seeing this on day one, um, but if you're going at the rate of the group, then this is day two. And yes, I'm in the same shirt. Good observation. But anyway, I want to talk to you guys just to brush the surface on how to post on Facebook and what is eye-catching. It's what's going to kind of capture people's attention, okay? So I've put a list below of a lot of different apps, and I'm going to go over a couple of them today. But one, a great phone app is Rana. It's R-H-O-N-N-A. -N -N um, it enables you to put lots of different um, text on your pictures. You can even put a shadow behind them or an outline behind the text. Um, you can also change the filter on your picture. You can also add, um, they've got like a bunch of different, what they call stickers, which will say like, she believes she can and she did with like an arrow or something. So it's really cute. And what it does is it makes your post stand out from everybody else's and it makes your post look like a business. It looks like you took the time to create that. You took the time to um, basically build your you brand. And that is a big part of Beachbody. A lot of people say like, I don't know about all the posting and everything. Basically what you do is you just think to yourself, okay, what, what do I want to portray? And maybe you already have a Facebook or an Instagram account, but your, your pictures kind of look alike or something like that. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys kind of what I do. Um, so for instance, I use this using another app that we're going to talk about that's actually on your computer called PicMonkey. And what that enables you to do is put a picture of yourself and delete the background. Um, so you can put it on any background or just a white background. And it also enables you to add um, images, multiple images, um, text, all kinds of things. So for instance, when I was inviting people to join my uh, one of my groups, I made this, oops, sorry guys, this post on PicMonkey. I cut out the background of myself, obviously. I just took that like in my closet, and put that little thing on my head and put, hey gorgeous, are you ready to start living the life by design? Let me help. Um, and then you're going to put extra text on the side of that, obviously, like you really do in Facebook, but it's bright, it's white, it's not very busy, it's a good picture of me where I'm smiling and I look happy. Um, so that's great. PicMonkey is great for that. And again, the only downside with PicMonkey is you can't save it and then go back to edit it later like maybe you could in Photoshop. But it's very quick. Um, there's lots of tutorials on that on YouTube as well, and I can send some of those to you guys. Um, it's very easy to ma manipulate once you start working with it and it's in layers kind of how Photoshop is so for instance if I put like a background on the back I can save that as a background layer and bring something else to the front um, like I said you can add multiple images which is great another great app actually let me go back to Rana so these are the kind of things that you can do in Rana so I just took a picture of my lunch and then I was able to put like a really pretty text that says working lunch and if you guys can see it's got um it's got a shadow behind it so I was able to do it on the white and it kind of it just looked a little bit more professional but if I just took a shot, snapshot of my lunch um another cool thing is where did it go yeah this is also in Rana so I didn't want to post a picture of myself but I posted this little snack healthy snack and it says consider your craving crushed it's just a little bit more professional than just posting a, you know, a yogurt. Who knows if they want to hear anything about a yogurt, you know? So it just kind of draws people in, stops the scroll. We say that a lot, like in Facebook, your newsfeed, and also in Instagram, you want somebody as they're scrolling through to go, oh, and stop the scroll, okay? So you want to make sure that it's bright, that it's high contrast. Research, research shows us that high contrast pictures get the most likes, the most, um, interaction on social media so high contrast just means you know like on a white background with like just yourself it's not like a bunch of images or if it's just a regular picture and I'll go ahead and show you guys this let's just say I wanted to do a picture of this shrimp stir fry if I went to edit this just in my regular iPhone editing I could literally just go to light and go to contrast and I want to see if you guys can see it change. Oh. So that's less contrast. It's just all pretty bright. Oh. And then if I edit the contrast, 
it gets lighter and darker. So a high contrast picture versus a no contrast picture is going to show up more. You guys can see that. Now you want to play with it to where it looks good, like maybe around there-ish, where you can still see all the, the wording and um, what's on the picture, but you don't want to blow it out so much that nobody knows what that is. Is that a piece of paper? Is that a bag of stir fry? I don't know. So you want to make sure that you can manipulate those. Now, if you go on YouTube, you will have you just look up tutorial of PicMonkey or tutorial of Rana. Um, I know some people use a beautiful mess. Um, the other one that I do want to show you guys <clears throat> is, where is it? Um, Pick Play Post is really great for if you want to do like a video and an image I've done before. Let's see if it's still on here. Let's see if somebody else has one. This is just one I'm just finding on here. Oh. Dang it. Sorry, guys. Um, this isn't really working. Okay, well, I know I have one, so... You will go to, or where's my pick play post one? Anyway, but basically you can put a picture, like I put a picture that says like minus 70, 10 women minus 70 pounds, who's in? And then it's like a picture of me doing a workout. And the great thing about pick play post is you can put like a popular song to go along with your workout and take the um, audio out of your actual like workout video. And Facebook doesn't kick it off. Like sometimes Facebook will say, this is copyright material. We're not going to post your, um, your video. But if it's through play, pick play post, it will because it's like they've purchased the rights to it or something like that. So that's a good one. Another really great video editing um, phone app, I have to say, this is so great, is, and I'll show you guys the what it looks like, <clears throat> Video Shop. If you can see that icon there, it's like an orange icon with a white Video Shop. And it also saves your videos that you've edited, so you can go back to these, like, quick. Um, this one you also can put music in, and it doesn't kick it out. I'll just show you guys one of the videos that I've done. Um, oops, through here. It's actually on here. Really quick, so you can see. I was able to take the sound out and edit my voice over it. And this is, these are all free apps. I edited my voice over it, and then um, I also put in, like, some music when I was doing kind of like an at-home workout. Let me show you. Sorry guys, the scrolling's probably making this long, but I think it's worth it. Okay, here we go. So it starts with my picture, and a lot of apps don't do that. It just starts with like a picture of you like doing a workout. So that's good, you can add a picture. Oh, decline. Okay, so it starts with my picture, and it just says like arms done or whatever, and then you play it. And if I wanted to, I could put text there that says like the dolphin. Do 15 times through, three times in a row, or whatever. Okay, so you can, you can, you get the drift. Um, but anyway, so th that's really great to post. And I did that all on my phone. I videoed from my phone when I was just like, oh, let me think of a couple moves. And then I did that all from my phone. So that's great too. Another thing, if you're going to grow your YouTube channel, um, is to have the app YouTube Capture. I'm going to show you guys. It looks like a YouTube channel. Where'd it go? Oh, I don't think I put it on here. Oh, here it is. It's this icon right here. This is a new phone, so sorry, but it's YouTube Capture. And what it does is like, let's say you shot seven videos or something. You can bring them all in and trim them and put them together so that they become one video all from your phone. So it's not like a ton of editing. You can't put, you can put music into it, but the great thing about it is once you're finished, you can just upload it to YouTube and it's there. So that's nice, all from your phone. Um, so those are some good ones. Visco Cam is also a 
really great app. It just gives like really high contrast photos. And let me show you, like if you can see those photos, they started like, you know, regular photos and then they became like pretty high contrast by using the filters in there. Um, so that's a really great one too, guys. All these are free. Again, um, Pick Monkey Online, great app. Um, you will love it. So anyway, I just want to give you guys that. Make sure that you're creating your you brand, okay? I want to show you that when I post, I typically make the temperature on my pictures cool. Um, and that's part of me. So like if you go to my Instagram, because that's just easier to see all pictures at once, you'll see that all my pictures kind of have the same tone to them. You know, like they're kind of cool. And I mean cool, like not red. They're more blue than red. Um, you know, they're kind of, uh, some of them are, have fades to them. Some of them are black and white. Um, you know, so go ahead and make sure that when you're creating your brand, that everything kind of looks alike. All the filters are the same and they're not kind of crazy. Oh, this is an example of pick, play, post. See, 10 women, minus 70 pounds, three weeks. And then I have three different videos going. And sugar playing. And it, they don't kick you off for doing that. So, pick, play, post, Rana, pick monkey. Um, there's another one that's pick vid um, that I think is great also because it doesn't give you those grid lines. Um, it's called, is that what it's called? Pick and vid stitch is what it's called. Um, I like this one too. I don't think you can add music, but I like this one too. And I like it when I want to put two pictures together and it makes it fuzzy in the middle instead of like a grid line. So that one's good too, guys. Um, anyway, Facebook posts and people attraction marketing, people seeing your brand, the you brand, um, is going to be so important. And your brand might be totally different than mine. Your brand, you might want to do all black and white photos with like your food in a color or... Um, there's also an app for that. It's called Color Splash. If you want to do like a black and white photo and then highlight one thing like an apple that's green or your food on a plate or something like that, Color Splash. But that might be your thing. You know, my thing is also I do a lot of like this kind of text in white. I don't usually do like different colors or anything like that. I usually do like whatever the picture and white text. It's just easy, simple. It pops. Um, so anyway, I hope that helped. There's going to be a lot more detailed videos on how to start your challenge group on Facebook, how to open your business on Facebook, how to get started, all those things. So for all those details, stay tuned. And if you want to move faster, you can watch the videos that are already up on my website, my coaching website. But this was just to get you guys familiarized with using these different apps. And I hope it helped. Bye, guys. I'll see you on day three.